Can I talk about the good people over at Manscaped? Yeah. Can we talk about them for a little bit? Because so. football season is here. Okay. And we've been seeing a lot of people ball out with the pig skin. The ball is pretty smooth. And you know what else is pretty smooth? Your delicate friends, when you use your Manscaped, you know, that lawnmower 4.0, that performance package 4.0, hot guy summer is still technically in effect. We got, a, we got like a couple weeks just left before it ends, okay? So you want to make sure that you are smooth and trim, just like that pigskin ball is. When we saw Seven throwing that tutty bird to big old Pat, we want to have ours smooth just like that. So it's aerodynamic, baby, aerodynamic. And the best way to do that is to use that promo code. You know we got to have a promo code for you, baby. And that promo code is MOATS, M-O-A-T-S. Use that promo code. You'll get your 20% off along with free shipping so you can be flying through, feeling great, and winning at life like our team here in Pittsburgh does. So that is that. But shout out to the good guys, Ed Manscaped. <laughs> 412 PA Mo says, Trey Edmonds or Derek White put the poll up. <laughs> That is it, I think man. it's still Watt. I think it you is. You were speaking really highly of him in training camp. Yeah. No, Watt has played well in training camp. He definitely has. Yeah. And we know that he has the special teams as well. That's his reputation. That was a bigger part of why he was brought over. So, yeah. Even though I like what Evans has been doing, I don't think he's done enough just yet. But the one thing that he does have going for him is he's pretty much always out there in terms of availability. And he is drastically cheaper. Then Watt as well, because you do remember, Watt did sign that nice contract when he came over here. So that also plays into this, but we... We did restructure Watt, though, this offseason. Yes, but it's still not cheaper than what my man Edmonds. Edmonds is on minimum. So, yeah. yeah. But you know you can't release Watt right now. <laughs> you can't. It, 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 has, has the other Watt signed his extension just yet? Until that happens, you cannot release Derek Watt. We don't need anything... To throw off that situation has already been going on long enough. I mean, it, it's to the point now where I'm I'm in the anx- the anxious mode because it's going into that last game, and I'm like, okay, how many weeks do we have before the season starts? We got to get this done. It's got to happen in the next two weeks. I want my man out there practicing. So if you could, could you get the deal done today so he's out there tomorrow sometime? Like, I want to get that out there. Do you have a projection? I do not. I do not. I hope it gets done. I just, Derek, Derek, you're good. In fact, Derek, tell TJ don't sign until after cuts and you're fine, bro. Then Derek stays in. He's locked in. <laughs> like, TJ, whatever you do, bro, you better not sign until they finish with every single cut. After that, then you sign your deal. All right? If Trey Edmonds is still around here, you better not sign that deal. I don't care if they're giving you 200 guaranteed. I don't care. You don't sign anything. 32 per year? Nah, TJ, don't take nothing until they sign. Until the season gets here, my deal is good. If you're Derek, that's what you tell him right now, man. <laughs> <laughs> tell him if you dare that's what you tell him because at best, like it's been it's too close and we've and i've told you how coach Tomlin feels like anytime it's close he's going with the younger player he's going with the cheaper player that is his mo that is the the you know it's no different than like playing blackjack certain people will hit on a 16 certain people won't that's his thing man look if it's close he's going younger he's going cheaper and between Edmonds and what it is close at that fullback role is man it? From when I watch, yes. Okay. Absolutely. I think with Watt, reputation has helped him out a lot. In Even Pittsburgh. some of those catches, though. That's what, Some of the catches are fine, but Edmonds doing that as well. Okay. That's my thing. Like, he no has, one's talking about Edmonds like right, that. And that's why, that's why I'm trying to say, like, Edmonds does some similar things. Maybe not. It, it doesn't he looked get, good yesterday with that it catch. It just doesn't get talked about to that same extent. But that's why I said I do feel like the name has helped him in terms of the reputation with in terms of Derek, like that, I think in Pittsburgh has made it seem like it's been a lot more productivity here than what it necessarily has been. He's a productive player, but a lot of his productivity has not been in Pittsburgh. And that's the part where it's like with Edmonds, Edmonds does some things where he's right on track with them. You watch him in practice, you watch him in some of these games. But like I said, the biggest thing in terms of why Edmonds is on the short end is Edmonds' brother is named Terrell and Tremaine. <laughs> Whereas Derek Brothers named TJ. It's different. <laughs> One guy they picked up his option. <laughs> One guy they did not. <laughs> so, wow. Yeah. Just the hierarchy right there, man. <laughs> yep. <laughs> In 412 PA mode, it, he says if Terrell was as good as TJ, would Trey get the same treatment? I personally feel that it would it would be in the conversation. I do. We keep my whole heart. I definitely do. 
but it's not right now. So that's why. Yeah. I don't mind Trey. Ed- the thought of Trey yeah. Evans making the roster as a fullback, mm-hmm. actually. I just don't like him as our RB4 or 5. Right. No, I agree with taking that. taking up that type of roster spot. But that shows his versatility as well. Do you think Derek Watt couldn't run the ball on a level like Trey, uh, like Trey Edmonds could? Because we've seen Trey come in at running back at times. Like, we've seen that. Now, we don't want that full time, but we've seen at least him be able to do that. And he's all I saw, right. I saw him right. make, make a nice play. Like, he's all right. Aspen, Haskins uh, passed mm-hmm. it to him yesterday on that little uh, flat route. Yeah. So, that's my thing. I, I like Edmonds' game. I just don't feel like the situation, the timing is going to work for him right now. Yeah. <laughs> I just, you know how I go, man. It's certain things. Yeah, you can't, you can't control, cut Derek man. Watt before yeah. this deal is done. <laughs> if you cut Derek Watt before that deal is done, in in any way, it makes TJ say, "I don't want to stay here. Or the deal is not going to work out." We would all lose our minds. We would be over here like Kevin Colbert, Mike Tomlin, Mister Rooney. What the heck were you doing? Like we all know, you got to make like certain things. We don't. It, it's kind of like Ron Switzer at times, right? It was like, yo, you know when they. I was, over Eli Rogers. I was surprised he was not on the roster. We were last like, year. whoa, what? But you know what? It, it happens, man. It's, yeah. It's, you know how you got to do it sometimes, man. And this is one of them things how I look 